drink and I might have to go my nose But I'm riding my way out on the wind Lord, I'm riding my way out on the wind We started playing music together in college. We started playing at house parties around Bozeman for all our friends. We'd rent equipment for like a hundred dollars and pay to play. We were going to do an open mic and needed a name and we came up with a bunch of stuff that just wasn't great. And we were all playing in Sean's kitchen because it was the only room in the house big enough for us to practice it, basically. That was just the name we came up with, and it stuck. All the people that had been coming to our shows previously was in house parties, and so we play at the Hop. People would generally show up and sort of treat it as it were a house party. At some point during that, the fire marshal would inevitably get called telling people to clear out and go home. We always thought that was great. Had, uh, had to have the authorities come down and shut down the party. We felt like we did a pretty good job. We didn't think it was going to be a long-term thing by any means. It was the beginning of something. Say you want some of what I'm after. Guaranteed I will take you down. So My name is Sean Swain. I grew up in Telluride, Colorado. I live in Bozeman, Montana now, and I play mandolin for the Kitchen Dwellers. My name is Torn Daniels. I'm from Joliet, and I play the banjo in Kitchen Dwellers. My name is Joe Funk, and I'm from Juneau, Alaska, and I play upright bass in the Kitchen Dwellers. My name is Maxwell Ryan Davies. From a suburb of Chicago, Illinois, I play the guitar in Kitchen Dwellers. I had terrible straight try growing up and it was always just a terrifying experience. No matter how badly I wanted to play the show or how much fun I had playing music, going on stage in front of people was scary. And now it is so much fun. Whether there's two people out there or thousand people out there, it doesn't matter, it's just so much fun. I was completely terrified. Hated it, didn't want to do it. But now it's fun. There's no other feeling you're not thinking about anything else. There's nowhere else you'd rather be. Now it's more like excitement, like I'm really excited to share what we have with people more than, wow, I'm going to be standing in front of all these people, what am I going to do? The first time you experience it, and it goes well, it's definitely addicting. For sure.
excited? Ready to play? Good. <laughs> God, fuck it. Fuck it here. The biggest trick is just maintaining positive attitudes and just smiling every day because sometimes it gets really hard just to keep going every single day. When I came back after the summer and told people that we were on the road for two months straight, everyone was just like, sounds like a lot of party. <laughs> but it's also a lot of traveling, a lot of logistics. If you really want to try and make it as a touring band, there's a lot of work that goes into it. you got to bleed a little for it. I don't know which life is our alternate reality. I don't know if it's this or if it's our day jobs in school. It could be a Saturday night, but uh, every morning is a Monday morning. Every day you got to get up and some nights too, you got to drive after the show. You got to drive six to 12 hours, set up, perform. You have to be 100% down for whatever. You have to want to do it. I love reading books about Clapton and Neil Young, like all the all the guys you know that have toured a bunch for a very long time. And so it was exactly kind of what I had thought it would be like. Really amazing in some ways and difficult in other ways. Sometimes if this thing's not going all right, you start to get distracted and you start to think about a lot of other things. The way that I feel about it, I always just hope that we make it till the next year. I've always been pretty surprised that uh, people liked any of our music. It always kind of blew me away that people enjoyed listening to the songs we wrote. I came to Bozeman with the intention of getting my degree, going back to Alaska and working up there for the rest of my life. I definitely don't see that happening right now.
touring is not always the easiest lifestyle, but if you really want it, and you realize how awesome it can be. It's all to create something. Best job ever had. We were just playing around town and then it started taking off. It's kind of like everybody's dream growing up is to do something big. Are you coming with me?